Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll all agree that Paul Curtis's presentation just then showed us that he's really turned around the European market. But Paul had to go and catch the last plane, so unless there's any other business, I suggest we close. Um, Clive. Um, Evelyn? Well, as you, um, as you all may have gathered, uh, this is a rather delicate matter. It's come to the attention of Evelyn and I that in spite of the presentation you just heard, Mr. Paul Curtis has been abusing his privileges as an officer in this company, something which undermines the image of this company and, in particular, the credibility of this team. Evelyn, would you? We have engaged very competent investigators, but as this is still ongoing, we should not presume too much. But we have evidence that Mr. Paul Curtis regularly fills a car with diesel when we know he has a petrol company car. Then there are several bills from the UK, which are dated the same date you were on a trip to Rome with him. And uh, there are several bills from lap dancing clubs, which Paul admits he regularly takes our customers to... Laps? Strippers, Peter. I would like these back at the end. Okay. Yes. It's shocking, isn't it? Our company policies preach zero tolerance. Now, we can't be seen to be ignoring them. It's not about the money, it's, it's about setting a precedent. I recommend criminal and civil action. Mr. Chairman. I just wonder. I was at a school governor's meeting last night discussing thefts that had taken place at school. It's easy to come down hard on the ones that we catch. It's a deterrent. Are we not just treating the symptoms? Back to Paul. I don't condone his actions, but is he really the only one? Or was he just the stupid one that got caught? We've had our suspicions for some time. What this tells me is that our policies, our checks and balances, aren't up to much. Maybe it's fraud. Maybe it's stupidity. Just now, we were prepared to praise Paul. Now we want to hang him? What would you do? I'm not sure. I've got a suggestion. Let's vote for or against Clive's zero tolerance. Then I will get Evelyn's expensive investigators to look at each and every one of us here. Our expenses. Our budgets. What we've been doing, where we've been going. Why? Because our policies clearly don't work. And we owe it to our shareholders. And we owe it to Paul. And what if I... What if we don't agree? Well, then someone better tell me what's going on here. Let's vote. Come on, let's vote. <laughs>